call George Adam to be followed by Rhoda Grant. Thank you, President Officer, and I congratulate Stuart McMillan for bringing this debate to the Chamber. And I congratulate Greenock Morton Community Trust, and I'll say that once more for the record, President Officer. I congratulate Greenock Morton Community Trust for all the work that they're doing in their community. When Stuart McMillan first asked me to speak during this debate, I thought it may have been some kind of joke. I do believe, President Officer, that he might have thought that it might have caused some controversy, that it may have led to some Paisley Greenock banter or reliving of the many successes that St Murren have had over Greenock Morton over the years. But of course that would be petty and not fitting for this place. However, Mr McMillan then explained that Greenock Morton Community Trust were get, uh, going to copy a model of, a, of the award-winning St Murren Street stuff. And if anything, myself and my fellow buddies are charitable. We like to do outreach work and help other communities in need of our help and guidance. And I think this is a perfect example of that as well. But just to go back to both clubs' successes, you know, it's almost like when, we, when both uh, Greenock and Paisley and St Murn and Morton argue about one another, it's like two men over our successes, it's like two bald men fighting over a comb. But let's actually discuss it. Both teams have won the Scottish Cup. Morton in 1922, St Murn in 1926. 1959 and 1987. And Morton were, of course, runners-up in 48, and the Scottish League Cup runners-up in 1964, and St Murn winners of said trophy in 2013. Uh, the Scottish Challenge Cup, uh, Morton were runners-up in 1993, and we were winners in 2005-2006. Now, that seems like an awful lot of second prizes for uh, the Greenock Morton, but I'm not one to go on about that, because the biggest trophy for us all in Renfrewshire, presiding officer, is, of course, the prestigious Renfrewshire Cup, of which Morton have won 52 times and St Murn have won 55. Now, uh, apart in this century, apart from three seasons, when we had a manager who did not see the importance of this prestigious trophy, uh, we actually, St Murn have won every single game. But when you look at the Greenock uh, Morton Community Trust, uh, they're following on from the St Murn Street stuff already mentioned by uh, my, my colleague, and it's led by Stephen Gallagher and Paisley. And this project was begun during my time as a local councillor, and it's done by Renfrewshire Council, Engage Renfrewshire, Police Scotland, and Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. And it has gone out and reached throughout uh, Renfrewshire and made such a difference and given young people an access to hard to reach young people who which we often talk about in the Education Committee, they've been able to reach these young people and direct them in a way where they can either become a coach within the club or do refereeing and various other things and try to help them to get work. And these are things that the Greenock Morton Community Trust and St Murn Street stuff will be doing regularly because both our towns uh, need that type of support as well. But I take interest in the fact that the Greenock Morton Supporters Trust were part of this when we were pu putting it all together. Uh, St Merlin Independent Supporters Trust, Smyza for short, they have had much to do with some of the work that has been work uh, happening in the community with St Merlin. And it's one of these things that uh, it appears on this occasion that Morton have actually got the jump on us because they have a member of their Supporters Trust on the board. And I think for a lot of football clubs, representation from our supporters on the board level Level is very important and can help and lead to important projects like this. And uh, I think it's Nick Robinson was appointed on the board at Capital some time back, and that makes the big difference. But one of the interesting things that the Greenock Morton Supporters Trust uh, have said with the, tr uh, the actual charity uh, community trust as well was the fact that for them the important thing is to strengthen the bonds between Greenock Football Mo Morton Football Club and the local community in Inverclyde and surrounding area. And I think that's very important when we talk about teams and leading to their communities because I think these these sporting types of projects can be used as a form of attainment, whether it be educational or for jobs as well. And I think we need to ensure that we encourage more of this, because in our communities there are far too many young people who we don't seem to be uh, being able to find out their talents and help them in any other way. So I think this is a good mechanism to, to reach the type of children and young people that we constantly call uh, hard to reach in this place. And I once again congratulate Greenock Morton Community Trust and all the work they're doing in their community. I wish them all the best in the future, and when we meet again in the field of football, I hope they get stuffed in the Renfrewshire Cup final. Thank you, Mr Adam, and I'm delighted that the focus of your speech was on Greenock Morton Community Trust, since that is the main thrust of this debate. I now call